So, yep, I'm water testing it in specific positions. Um, only on the windscreen so far, but uh, there's nothing obvious. I don't. Th I thought it might be the uh, the windscreen ceiling, but I don't think it is. So I will have to probably put the hose up higher and actually check that skylight. Um, like it's a false skylight. It's not a skylight. It's a little false skylight. I'll show you up there anyway. Yeah, so we've got this little skylight here, which doesn't open. You can't see it from the inside anyway. Um, so we might have to have a look at this. Just there, I'm checking past that at the moment. So now what we'll do is we'll move it up. Now the water. Let's get it over there a little bit. So I'm running all the way around that now. Look at that. <clears throat> yeah, water leaks, when they're not obvious, it can take hours and hours. So I'll leave that on water test for a bit and we'll go back inside and have a look in a bit. Found where the water's collecting, not where it's coming in yet. Um, I've had to drill some exploratory holes. Uh, this is the headliner. This is all complete. It goes the full length. So you can't actually get that out because uh, the hole is cut in the roof and then that is sealed to there before the actual roof, the outer outside roof cap goes on. So I can't do anything with that. I think I'm gonna have to cut a hole small hole there so i can get uh, like a cloth in because this goes quite far quite far down so i think this is all basically that piece is all full of water but because the headliner is sealed and completely waterproof or it was waterproof um yeah the water was all collecting in there so i couldn't see it until I moved the van and then I heard all the water sloshing above my head so so it's obviously coming in around this area but yeah I will need to actually probably cut a hole here and the other side as well just so that I can get a cloth down into this cavity just to make sure I've got all the water out I don't particularly want to be drilling through the body um, because that's gonna it's gonna eventually start corroding no matter what I do with that so as soon as I drill through it it's gonna take all the zinc galvanizing off and it's gonna start rusting so I don't really want to do that so I want to go through this bit it's gonna be less destructive and a little bit better for the vehicle oh, that cloud doesn't look very good I think I better get it in I'm gonna get it in the workshop it's not looking good it's not gonna help the situation making it more wet all right, cut some exploratory holes. Managed to get all the water out as the uh, water level was actually above that hole. Uh, and there's the outer fiberglass roof. So yeah, I'm gonna have to have sealed the front skylight now. I think it was probably that with the little false skylight that it's got. Little false skylight up there. So I think it was probably that. So that's been resealed, so there's no point in me dry, trying to dry it out until I know it's definitely not leaking. So I'll give that a water test tomorrow. Let the sealant go off on the skylight and test it tomorrow. Right, this little auto trail is proving to be extremely difficult. Um, I have now resealed all of the, the roof seams. Um, so all the, all the roof seams have been redone. The skylight has been done. So everything, as far as we can tell, is no longer leaking. However, because of the construction, there is no way I can get in there to dry this out, this section, because there is actually insulation behind here. You can probably just about see. I'll get my light. Yeah, so we've got insulation behind. Oh, insulation behind there and that is actually sopping wet so every time 
we're sort of drying it out, drying this section out because it goes all the way down here. There's like a little puddle, but I don't know whether it's the insulation, the water just draining off the insulation, or whether it is actually still leaking. So I think the only way I'm going to be able to do this now is to cut a section of the headliner out. Um, you don't see this anyway because the there's like a little storage box up here. Um, so you don't see this section anyway, and it's not structural. All it is is a, is a headliner. It's not um, it's not a problem or anything. The only way I can do it is to just just cut this section out. That's the only way I'm going to do it, and then just try and get up here, try and pull out as much of the insulation as I can, um, just to get that dry, and then I should be able to see a little bit more into this section. Not a lot. I'm not going to be able to see much more, but I'm going to be able to see a little bit more into this section. And uh, just to then water test again, just to absolutely make doubly sure that it's not still leaking. Because um, at the moment, being these little these little access holes that I've cut already, I just cannot get in there to absolutely categorically say that it's no longer leaking. So yes, I need to go a bit more in depth. I don't really want to cut this out, but that's the only way I think I can move forward. Oh, that's a bit better. I can actually see now. So there's the problem. The insulation is still wet. So I think the water is actually draining off the insulation. So that's why we've got a tiny little puddle down there. You can see, still a little puddle. So I can get this out. I'll probably get some new insulation to put down the bottom there and see how much of the insulation I can get out. Because it is a little bit wet. Now I can actually physically see in here, see whether there's still water ingress into this roof section. That's basically what was happening before. The water ingress was just filling this complete section up with water. And then occasionally, as you drive the vehicle, the water would find its way out through here, generally leak around the interior lamp. So yeah, I'll get as much of the insulation out as I can and then we will set up a heater just to dry that section out and then probably end up leaving that out in the rain again just to make doubly sure that this is still not leaking. 